Hi, today I want to test the BM800 dynamic condenser microphone um, with different settings. I ordered it from uh, Banggood and it comes with a 2.5 meter cable with a uh, XLR plug for the microphone and a 3.5 millimeter plug for a sound card. Um, it comes with an, a windshield, it's, a, yeah, it's a foam. Um, and a shock mount. Additionally, I'm uh, going to use a Behringer PS400 Phantom Power Supply, which features 12 and 48 volt. I try to keep my voice at the same level and distance to the microphone during the following tests. Just for the fun, I, printed, I 3D printed um, a bracket um, and use an uh, aluminum rod um, to uh, mount that on my table. The brackets were meant to be screwed to my desk but uh, when I decided to attach it to a normal table I needed some zip ties. Uh, at the end of the aluminum rod is another bracket which holds the shock mount. The white screw on the top part is 3D printed as well and works great. Oh by the way, when you design a screw from scratch without a template, make sure you get the direction right. Just saying. Not that I haven't ever done that wrong. There are no batteries in this microphone and uh, it should work just fine when plugged into a sound card. In reuse, you will find that um, it should just work fine with um, with a sound card without any uh, phantom power, um, but I think it depends on the sound card or maybe the model of the microphone. I'm not sure, but um, let me test some uh, settings and you will hear the results. This is a test with no amplification and no phantom power. This is a test with full amplification and no phantom power. This is a test with no amplification, 12 volt phantom power and the input set to 100%. This is a test with no amplification, 12 volt phantom power and the input set to 85%. This is a test with no amplification and 48 volt phantom power. This is a test with no amplification, 48 volt phantom power and the input volume set to 85%. This is a test with amplification and 48 volt phantom power. So to wrap this up, um, it seems to be dependent on the sound cut. At least I made the best experience with a, a phantom power of 48 volt. Um, and uh, I think you should be quite near to the microphone. So when I'm going back from the recording, with both a shotgun mic and a dynamic mic, um, you should hear the difference. Um, and uh, I think you should be quite near to the microphone. So when I'm going back from the recording with both a shotgun mic and a dynamic mic, um, you should hear the difference. In the end, it's a very decent microphone for the price. It's um, around uh, 20 euro when I bought that and uh, you can look down in the description and uh, see what the price is now. Have a nice day and see you in the next one.